This next one is done by my good friend Faithful Cupid. Let's go in here. Now, the key uh, is just really to follow the path. Uh, we've got a bit of a maze up first. If you step over here, uh, some TNT blows. Let's just go away from it for now. Uh, if you hold down shift, you shouldn't be able to fall off because the button will actually activate before you get that point. So just hold down shift for the whole length of the way. Uh, I should test that theory, but I don't trust it enough to do that. Um, alternatively, you could just make a run for it. Now, I wouldn't run across the sand. That's not very wise. Um, but certainly run across these is no real harm done. Excellent. <sighs> Fresh air. Oh, and wide open space. I should probably fix that. Uh, now you go up here. Here's the parkour that you've all been waiting for. Lava. Parkour. Hardcore. This is three blocks wide. Have to sprint jump. There's a wall, we can just regular jump. Check the roof, make sure there's no obstructions. This is a little bit tough. Now with fence posts, uh, they're more difficult than normal blocks because they're actually half a block higher. So imagine another half a block on top of that when you're timing it up. That's your best way to line it up. See, I haven't sprinted across a single gap. Uh, here's a three across again. You definitely have to sprint for this one. And we've got twos. YouTube.com. Or YouTube slash user slash Faith Cupid. Made by Faith Cupid, Faith Cupid, depending how you know him. Oh, it says jig in cakes. I like that. Ah, uh, and that's the end of the parkour paths. Awesome. That actually wasn't as bad as I thought. I only really had one uh, that had major trouble with. Um, not a lot of puzzles. The walkthrough is fairly self-explanatory, but that's the end of that one. And uh, next up we have A and B6. Those are the two hardest tracks uh, in the whole multiplex. They should be uh, very interesting to do.